Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Binky Bianca with some more blog talk. And today we're gonna be talking about G Herbo, Tyena Williams, and Ari Fletcher. So for those that don't know, G Herbo is a young rapper. He used to date Ari Fletcher. They have a three-year-old son together. Ari is a social media influencer, but currently G Herbo is with Tyena Williams. Now Tyena is the stepdaughter of Fabulous, the rapper. Fabulous has been with her mother for, you know, well over 10 years. And that's how we initially knew Taina. Now, Taina and G Herbo also have a son together and they have a daughter on the way. So just to give some background there, um, she is pregnant with a little girl. The other day, Ari, his first baby mother, uh, her son had a video made of him where he was seemingly upset at the thought of her having another child because at this time she only has him that's her only child and he doesn't want her to have any more kids you know and he seemed upset about it uh, apparently her friend was joking with him about that and um today Taina posted a video in her stories of G Herbo just like kissing on her stomach and trying to talk to their daughter just a cute little video you know and people in the comments of course when the blogs repo reposted it were like oh this is why your son was upset this is why your son has PTSD and just then saying like you know he seems to love his new family more than his son and this is why his son has issues all kinds of weird negative crap and anyway, I'm not even going to get into that. So G Herbo did address the haters. So I'm going to play the video of him kissing Tiny's stomach. And then also the series of videos of him addressing the social media commenters. Take a listen. All right. Yeah, I stay. <laughs> That's the most annoying sound in life. Yeah, I stay. Mm -mm. Hey, look, listen. This don't have nothing to do with the shade room or no blogs or anybody. But what the f type of sick individual human being do you have to be to want a three-year-old to despise or not like his own siblings, his own flesh and blood? I don't get it. Like a mother's relationship with a child and a father's relationship with a child are two totally different relationships and they can never intersect between each other. Like a mother's love and a father's love are, is two totally different things. And when it comes to children, as a parent, you're going to love your children unconditionally. And as a sibling, if your parents, if the parent loves all the kids unconditionally, the kids are going to love each other unconditionally. Why the f would that ever even be a thought in somebody's mind? Go on about this all day, like on and on. But why do y'all continue to like create this narrative as in, oh, me as a father, I'm having kids. I love my firstborn, my first ever real true love in life less than I could love the kids that I'm having now or my kid feels neglected like my son loves me unconditionally me and my son have a bond like this that nobody could ever break nobody in the world could ever break that bond and he know that so why the f do y'all people who I never met who don't even know me or my son think y'all could really define the relationship that I have with my son or that his mother have or anybody like I hope y'all actually find somebody in life that love y'all unconditionally because it's coming to the point where and, and don't take my words and try to act like I'm making a comment towards his mama. I know that lame that y'all try to do. No, this for y'all. This is for all the fans. All you fucking weirdos at home trying to create some type of false narrative and y'all don't even know what the fuck is going on. Okay, so for whatever reason, him making and posting these videos seemed to trigger 
Ari to want to address him publicly. So this is what she posted in her story. How about you tell the truth for once? Tell them how my son came home with a scar on him and saying what Taina did to him while you wasn't home. And even though he told you out his own mouth what she did and he was crying and she didn't help him and she mean to him and he don't like her and the happened while you wasn't home. I gave you a whole week to handle it as a father. You or her never called me about the situation. I called back to talk to her and tell her she can't be around my baby. And I was very respectful. And you sat up and said in front of her that my baby was lying. You said, how you gonna see your son if he can't be around her? LOL, what? That's why you haven't seen your son for real. And that's why he probably don't want me to have no other kids because the way your other baby mama treats him. When you finally came to where we live, you got him for one day, posted on Instagram and left. Let's tell it all. Now, Taina making, I mean, I'm sorry, Ari making that post then prompted Taina to make a post addressing her and basically what she posted was a like a video montage of her and um yo son right which is gerbo and ari's little boy together and uh, along with that her caption said i've allowed you to create false narratives about me in the past but i will not let you create this narrative when it comes to a child that i have so much love for anybody that knows me knows I would never lay a finger on him or any child, William said in a lengthy Instagram post. She continued, I have always had to hide my love for your son out of respect for you and your wishes. When I met Herb, I knew he was part of the package. I signed up for this, even with all the drama that came with it. I've always had hope that we could settle our differences like adults for the sake of our children. Now, of course, <laughs> dealing with, you know, someone like Ari, the posting of the, the videos, you know, with the child is definitely going to trigger her because she's got this, my kid, my son, my this, my that. So Taina posting that and posting, you know, like that video to go along with that caption immediately had Ari make another post. And she said, you got 20 minutes to delete my son off your page before I post what you really don't want me to post. This is the last time I'm going to tell you. Now, Ari did also post a video where she played um, a, like audio of her and Herbo talking to their son about an incident that happened, I guess, with Taina when Herbo, Herbo was not home. So we'll take a look at those series of videos. Why don't you like Taina? Because I... Because I don't. Why not? Though, son? You always happy every time. And when I leave you in the house with her, you be happy. What's, what's the rule? You have to stop leaving me, okay? Okay. Well, I'm going to stop leaving you. Okay. I got you, son. I won't yeah. leave you anymore. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop leaving you. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop leaving you. Okay. Okay. In your floor. I was falling in your floor. In my floor? Who hit you? Me? Or Tyler? Tyler. Okay. Did it hurt? Yeah. And Did you cry? No. You didn't cry? Yeah, I didn't cry. She done added the music so y'all could feel bad for her. Girl. Leave my son off your page. You, you, you know better, do better. Nobody never said that I said that you wasn't home. Clearly, that's what I said. But delete my son off of your page. False narrative. What the fuck is you talking about? All right. So in the clip that Ari played, as you could hear, you know, they were asking Yosan what happened and he basically said he fell and, you know, she asked, well, why don't you, first she started off with, why don't you like Taina? Now, I'm going to tell you this. It's pretty clear to me with the way that Ari conducts herself on social media that she does not like Taina. And it's mostly the simple fact that G Herbo is with her. 
she's always been like this about this girl and as a matter of fact um you know i, I think herbo was kind of going back and forth between them at first so she's always had an issue with this girl now it seems like she probably says things in front of her son or to her son or questions him about taina a lot um and not necessarily out of that normal parental concern right when there's other adults around your children you do want to make sure your kids are safe and you want to make sure they're being treated you know with respect and kindness they're being taken care of when they're not in your care but when she she doesn't like this girl so when she asks about her i'm sure she puts that spin on it that her son knows that she doesn't like him her and her son's only three but he is a very well-spoken young man he seems intelligent you know she and herbo always post videos of him he's you know a really smart little kid so he could pick up on that energy, I'm sure. And kids don't want to go against their parents, especially not their mother. And, you know, I just think that it is very important to listen to your kids. I don't have any, but it's very important to listen to your kids when they say something has happened to them and talk with all the adults involved in the situation. Now this, oh, take my kid off your page, this and that. Again, this is showing her pettiness because she's been keeping it quiet for a minute but this goes back years this has been going on for years you know since this baby was a like literally a baby when her and uh, g herbo broke up and it's just sad to me i think that parents should leave kids out of their adult issues because let's keep it real this is about adult issues this isn't about her kid now i don't know what happened i wasn't there now when i'm reading the comments i see a lot of people saying man kids do be lying about the smallest things like my son's teacher told him you know to put his sippy cup down and and she he made up a whole story about that she she uh, slapped him did all this kind of stuff and it was all on video it wasn't true you know so things happen kids can exaggerate but i don't want it to um make it sound like i think this little boy was lying i think that he he was probably telling the truth but whether or not like she hit him i mean we don't know where they playing around did he fall and did she say get up you're a big boy brush it off and you know not baby him i mean who knows what happened but the fact that ari took this to the internet and didn't keep it as a family issue shows how pressed she is about taina because she wants the internet to not like Taina because her son, quote unquote, doesn't like Taina. But does he not, does he dislike her because he dislikes her? Or does he dislike her because he knows his mommy dislikes her? And he doesn't want to hurt his mommy's feeling. Let's be real. You know, because this was a family issue. What, what do we really need to know that conversation with your son, G Herbo and Ari for? Why do we need to know about that? because she wants us to have a certain view of Taina. And she's, you know, she's upset that she's always come out looking like the bitter baby mama. I really do understand why a lot of women don't like to deal with men with kids. And I saw a lot of that in the comments, like, this is why I don't deal with men with kids, especially young ones, because they have mothers like this in the life, in their life. And they don't control the situation. They let the girl run off at the mouth. They don't, you know, get their custody stuff in order. And so it's constant drama, constant attacks because of the situation. And it sucks because a lot of good people miss out on each other just for the simple fact that they chose the wrong person to have a child or children with. I've dealt with it before. Most, many women have dealt with it. But uh, and many men have dealt with it, you know, on the on the opposite side, right? Drama because of a baby daddy. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with this. I think that um, it's sad that they're putting the kid in the middle of this. Really, Ari's the one that, that likes to do that a lot. So I just think that. Um, oh, by the way, Taina did. <laughs> she did remove uh, their son off of her page. So Ari threatened that for whatever reason, and she took him, her, him off her page. And honestly, I think she did that not because she was afraid of whatever Ari's threatening her with, but more so like, I need peace. Like, I'm tired of this girl. I'm tired of this girl. I'm tired of this situation. I am very pregnant. You know, she's in her third trimester right now with her baby girl. She's probably just over it. And I could see how something like this would end a relationship because there's only so much of the negativity and drama that one person can take. 
And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they if they did break up, you know, not too soon after they have their daughter. But I hope that doesn't happen. But I wouldn't be surprised because this girl right here, this baby mama he got, she's never going to stop. She's always on the Internet 24 seven talking crap, you know, mean to people. You know, she makes sure everybody knows she has money. She's very rude. Um, she's just her character is just off the chain but anyway let me know what y'all think y'all think taina was out of line for posting a video of moments that she has with her uh stepson essentially or should she not be able to post him and you know spend time with him uh do you think that ari was out of line for uh saying that she can't be around her son or was she being a protective mother and making sure that her son is safe at all times let me know what you think in the comments and i'll be back soon